Okay, so hello guys. In this particular video, we will be having a look at how you can see add-ins uh, on your Office applications, Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. So first of all, let's go ahead and start with Excel. Now there are various ways you can load up Excel. I'll just go to Run menu. I press Window key R, and I'm going to write Excel. So here my Excel is open and now I'll go to the file menu Excel options add-ins now over here you can see the list of all the add-ins along with their locations where the add-ins are currently the actual DLLs that load up the add-ins are saved now if you had any of those add-ins currently active on your application those would appear under the list of active add-ins Otherwise, all other add-ins that you can use but are not active at the moment are appearing under the list of inactive add-ins. I'll show you an example of active add-ins as well. Just hold on for a moment. So this is how you see add-ins when it comes to Excel. Um, you can obviously manage add-ins. If you have com add-ins, you can go to them. I don't have any of them, so it won't be available over here. But if you have, you can. Um, or you can also add up the add-ins. Just go to the DLLs or executable files and add up the add-ins yourself. So that was it for Excel. Now let's have a look at Word. Okay, so I have open Word application. Let me go to Word options and then add-ins. So here's an example of um, active add-in that I have right now active on my Word application. This is an Outlook related add-in and this basically allows me to um, basically compose the emails right from my word and then send that email straight using my outlook that I have configured on my system so that is why this particular add-in is used now let's not go into much detail of that you can google over it or I'll have a separate video for that but that's how the active add-ins appear when the add-in is actually active meaning when the DLL that is um, for that particular add-in which is fname.dll has been loaded with this particular process and you can clearly observe that using applications like process explorer which is available online for free and that's how you see add-ins on word now let's have a look at add-ins on PowerPoint if you are noticing I'm using the shortcuts to open the applications rather than going to start menu okay so now I have PowerPoint now over here um, there is another add-in that I have active which is Camtasia so obviously because uh, the add-in is currently active it should appear under the list of active add-ins uh, at least I hope so let me go ahead and check so I went to the menu and then PowerPoint options going to the add-ins and over here you can see Camtasia add-in it's located uh, C Drive, Program Files, TechSmith, Camtasia Studio 8, Camtasia Office add-in and these are the list of other add-ins which are not currently in use and hence they are appearing under inactive application add-ins. So that was it for this particular video guys. Remember that if you want to see the list of all the DLLs that are linked to a particular process on your Windows system okay uh, Okay, yeah, so if you want to see all the active DLLs that are linked to a particular process on your Windows system, you can always use a utility like Process Explorer. That's obviously free and it has actually been bought by Microsoft itself. So you can just download it from TechNet Microsoft and start using it. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more.